Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back and uh, hello to new visitors. Professor Piyush here and you are watching a full SketchUp course from beginner to advanced level. To catch up from the beginning, follow the course link shown on your top right corner. In this part, we will cover various ways of dividing a line, welding lines, splitting a face, healing a face and exploding an entity. So let's begin. As you draw 3D models in SketchUp, the ability to divide edges and faces enables you to create and manipulate your geometry in complex ways. You can also explode entities such as circles and polygons into individual segments. SketchUp automatically splits a line segment when a new line is drawn perpendicular to that line. For example, two lines are drawn perpendicular to each other on the face of the rectangular box. You will notice the following with those lines. These lines divide the edges from the box and also the lines on the box face. That's why we can only select the segments of what appears to be the whole lines because the lines are split by other lines. The lines don't have to be perpendicular only. You can also split a line or arc when a line crosses another line or arc on a face, as shown on your screen. When you want to divide a line or arc into equal segments, SketchUp helps you out. Simply follow these steps. Select the line and right click a line or arc, or hover over your mouse over the line or an arc and then right click. Select Divide from the context menu. SketchUp places red points on the line or arc to show where it will be divided. Move the cursor toward the center of the line or arc to reduce the number of segments. Move the cursor towards either end of the line or arc to increase the number of segments as shown on your screen. The inference engine also shows you the number of segments and length of each segment dynamically before you finalize the number of segments you want. You will also notice that the measurements box dynamically changes to segments. If you prefer, you can type a number and press enter and you don't have to move your cursor on the line to set the number of segments. Click the line when the number of segments you would like is shown. The line is now divided into an equal number of joined line segments. Periodically, you will find you would like to weld intersecting or adjoining line segments into a single entity. Perhaps you would have exploded another shape, intersected geometry or drawn a complex profile. By welding individual edges, you will create a curve entity, the SketchUp equivalent of a polyline. Curves have the following effects on your modeling. Curves are easier to select, group and organize in your SketchUp model. For instance, welding a series of imported contour lines makes it much easier to select multiple contour with one selection window. Curves will create a smooth face automatically when pushed or pulled. Using curves as the basis for a follow me path will result in a 3D extrusion with both hidden and softened edges. To split a face, draw a line with starting and ending points on the face. You will notice how the lines drawn across on the face create smaller faces within the large one. Healing a face. If you remove the line or arc that divides a face, the two faces are healed back into one face. To remove a line or arc, select it, right click and choose erase from the menu that appears. Or 
click the line or arc with the eraser tool. On your screen, you can see how erasing the lines and arc heals the whole face. So SketchUp is about making models, not destroying them. So why does it have an explode feature? When you draw a circle, arc, polygon or curve entity, several segments make up the entity. But selecting any segment selects the whole entity. The explode feature in SketchUp breaks an entity into its segments so that you can select one segment separately from the others. To explode an entity, select it right click the selection and choose explode curve from the menu that appears on your screen you see how a curve is exploded into individual segments that's all in the video in the next part we will cover the move tool in detail and how the move tool can be used as a copy tool see you there keep practicing put your doubts in the comment section and show appreciation by liking the video please thanks